Right now, TTI in their anthem said they educate your hands, your heart, and mind for self employment. And these days. Have I'm, you learned how to? Do you know the anthem? Yes, I know the anthem. They are not just training you that after here you can do things on your own, genuine things. Do you believe in that? I can. I believe in it. And I know they are doing it. You were there and your school administration called you. They said you were going for an exchange program. What was going through your mind? My mind I was like, ish. I've been called for an exchange. Like, I was actually genuinely happy. Because, as I said earlier, like, this opportunity doesn't come. Like, it comes by chance. And when it comes like that, it's very... It's not everyone who gets that chance. Amazing. So, year I saw that opportunity, I grabbed it. And I was like, fine. Oh, they, they told you on is it Friday? Friday, yes. Friday, please. and then Monday morning came. How was it at dawn when you were dawn, sleeping? When I woke up this morning, my man was like, "I'm going to TTI." <laughs> then my friends were like, "Madam, when you go there, comport yourself." Those kind of things. So as I was going around the school, like people were like, "Madam, make the school proud," and when you go, make sure like you show them how it's done. Those kind of things. Amazing. So, mm -hmm. And I finally came, I picked you, you drove outside your gate, mm -hmm. and then you saw the street of Ifia Kuma. How was it when you were in the car going? I actually haven't seen Tagade with my last stop is always Potters. So you don't when, gone beyond I've Potters before? I've not gone beyond Potters before. Hey. So, unless maybe... You are in Form 3? Yes. For three years, you've not I've gone... I've not gone beyond Potters before. Unless maybe you are going to just yes, and you some junction to them. But then I've not actually not been past that particular junction before. So this is my first time at these parts of Takradi. So like, I saw parts I've not seen before, and then new things, saw people walking around the streets. It was something new. And I, I know that this is probably like the last time I see something, but I'm happy I saw it. <laughs> Amazing. And then you got to TTI, you entered the campus. How was the first impression? The first impression was like, hey, this place is actually really nice. That was what came to my mind. When I saw this particular building we are sitting, I was like, hey, is this actually the TTI that they said the boys are rowdy? Because if they're actually as rowdy as they said, shouldn't like the glasses and things be broken? So I was really impressed about the facilities and everything, the people. They were nice, they were home, you were coming. I was very happy. You got the opportunity to see the principal. Over here, they don't call, they don't say headmaster, they call uh, him principal. principal. Well, did you get the opportunity to see him? Yes, I did. And he was the first one to watch. He, when you welcomed me, I felt more welcome than I actually was. And I was happy that he made it for sure that mm. I'm in CTI. Did you, did you experience the assembly? The assembly, yes. When I came, into the assembly, but like the assembly grounds, and it was like, hey, hey, like I could hear everyone commenting, like, hey, she's from Potters. Then the former ones, I was like watching, and I'm like, sometimes attention is. Mm. They called you up there. They called me up there. How was it? At first, I was nervous. Mm. Honestly, I was nervous when they were like, I should introduce myself. And when I'm nervous, I tend to talk fast. So, like, they were like, hey, you can hear what I could hear what I was complaining. But then, after everything, when they actually came to me, it's to face talking, like, the nerves just mm. kind of vanished. Amazing. Yes. So, um, and then you, you, you got to class. To what were your expectations? In the class, I thought I was coming to write print. I brought books because... You brought books, I brought not books. just a book, books. I brought two books because <laughs> I thought, like, I would write. Because I'm from a school that is based on... We do practicals and then it's mainly theory. So when I came and then I'm given my drawing board and set square. And I'm I want to remove my bag and then the boy, the boy is like um, Clement. He's like, oh no, we don't use it. Who is Clement? Clement was one of the it was one of the people actually met and spoke to. He helped me around in the class. Yeah, so he helped in Muslim things. Mm. Yes. So he was uh, how was the teaching? How complicated was it? The teacher explanations I'm and sure all that? It would have been complicated if another teacher had taught it. Because he broke it down in such a way that I thought I wasn't like JHS again. And I stood everything simple. And like when he said something, like it stuck. Even though there were no notes and everything, like, mm. 
you know that he's actually teaching. Oh, were you able to do something? Yes, I was. Actually, I drew, um, we did the first development, and this is the first development for Hexagon, right? And I learned that this is the plan, the front elevation, mm. and then the develop, uh, the development surface. So, like, this is what I did. I did this all on my own, everything. I drew it, and I don't know if you can see this really well. This was a cylinder. And the class that I joined was called Computer Technology 3. And that's where Clement was. So he taught me how to, like, he aided me. I did this movie on my own, but, like, he aided me and then I developed everything on my own. So there, was, was, there was a part where the students started clapping. Yeah. What, what, what was happening? That was... So like, what was the reason for the excitement, the clapping? And oh, not anything, but yeah, I've seen talk. I've seen from so from two months ago. Two months. Yeah. One of the like main highlights. It was really funny. There was a boy. Apparently, he has not been in school since April. So when he comes in, and the boys are like, "Hey, headmaster!" Then everyone is clapping. <laughs> ish, ish, ish. I couldn't help myself. I was also laughing, and then he was feeling himself. Two, two boys. They have not been in school for a very long time. And then they like, just come. With their brother's girls and me. It was nice how like, they said, when someone comes late, generally it's like their culture, they give them the standing ovation just because it makes the class fun, whether there is a teacher or not. Amazing. And, and were you able to use your, your dining plate and all that over here? How was it? Yes, so apparently, unlike boarding schools, because it's day, it's day school, they give them one meal per day. This banku and today was banku. So apparently, they usually give them much, but then today there was a change. And <laughs> I tried to do my Portuguese stuff here, like how I was taught with my fork and knife. I know it's banku funny, right? But I like the schools, even at home sometimes. Come on, rice. But then you must said I shouldn't. Mm. I had to wash my hand and like <laughs> apparently when you come to room, what Romans do? I wore my hands. They gave me. Um, 442. 442 is what? 442. It's government. Some excellence government here. Is it nice? It's nice. It's nice. I was four, unfortunately, so I couldn't finish everything. But then the little I ate, I enjoyed. I've never actually enjoyed government like this before. How's it? It's nice. How's it? <laughs> say the truth to me. I had the work, I say the truth. So I was happy, everything. And I heard they gave it to you for free. Yes, the woman gave it to me for free. Sir? Amazing. <laughs> so, so, um, did you have an opportunity to experience any class again? Yes, just a short while. Um, I went to the IT class, still the class that I joined for the technical join. Um, we're connecting computers, through the internet, and some other things. And the students were the ones supposed to, and like everything, things that you see on TV, and then. How do you do it? And then we're like, hey, so people my age actually do these kind of things on their own. So here, was, in this school? Here, in this school. So I was like, wow, like, this is actually more than I expected. I, I, is, is that not something that in your school everybody can do it? There are things everyone can, just like how things, like, everyone can do the things that you like, you can't do everything. Science, like, science students have their base. General arts students have mm. their base. Home economics can pick up, cook something that tastes as wonderful, then the science student picks up and it's like things like that. So, I understand. Yes. Awesome. So now looking at a technical school mm -hmm. and then a senior high school, how, what, what are the differences? What you consider as huge difference? Coming from like a secondary school, like Everything is still, okay, not everything, most is still, right? The little particles we do, then like, helps us understand the tutorial. But then when I came to this technique, I realized that it's, it's like, there's little to no theory at all. Everything is hands-on, practical. And like, because you are seeing what you are learning, it sticks. So like, mm. it sticks. Because you are seeing what you are learning, it sticks. This is this, this is this. And then you're like, I have no, like, imagine they had just mentioned names. I didn't see. Now if you see, you remember like, what oh, is this? Things like that. 
I was really impressed. Is, is this something that you really encourage, like a technical education? Do you think it, 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 it registers yes, something substantial? Yes, technical education. Right now, TTI in their anthem said they educate your hands, your heart, and minds for self-employment. And these days... Have I'm, you learned how to? Do you know the anthem? Yes, I know the anthem. Eh. I know the anthem. Yes, I would sing it for you, but my voice is <laughs> so, so, like, when the anthem, like, it really brought, like, my knowledge on something, like, things like this actually help. After here, you can do things on your own, genuine things. Do you believe in that? I can. I believe in it, and I know they are doing it. That's the, like the fun part about everything, because they are able to do it and they are doing it. So, like, I was really impressed seeing girls here. I wasn't expecting to see these girls. I was like in the department. I was expecting to see just one girl, but I come in and I see like 10, 20. Like they are just walking around. She's in. She's in drilling. I'm like, wow. This is what like. Other girls should get up and it helps. It's a nice school. Amazing. So if they ask you to leave senior high school mm -hmm. and come to a technical school based on your priorities, like what you really want to achieve in life. What in, I really want to achieve in yeah, life. Yeah. Is this something that you can let it go and then look at a technical education? I can do that. But for the meantime, like secondary school is more of where I want to go. But then if I I've seen in technical schools earlier. Maybe that would have changed that decision. Really? Yes, maybe it would have. Because in my mind, it was second. I've like made up my mind. Now I don't think it would change my mind. But then if I can like come earlier as an option, that would have been like a sixty percent chance that I would be in a technical. For school. real? Yes. You know, parents are watching you, and they've they've seen a technical education. They think, hmm, is it really okay? What, what would you have to say? Parents to? are there. Technical education. I've been here. I've seen it, and I've been to like. I've seen it, and I'm like, like when your children don't do great well in grades, they are learning theory, and then it's like it's not coming to them. Probably that is not just their fault. They should be brought here. Like you never know what a child can excel in. So if you think your child is not doing that well in her second normal school, you can bring her to a school, and then she will do more than you ever expected. Amazing. So I think they should give their children, like they should give technical institutions a chance. Really help. How was the overall behavior of the students to you? The, I, honestly, I thought they were bullying me. That's what I thought when I was. Oh, I came. They were so welcoming, like a a a that kind of thing. I was feeling fly. I felt welcome. I Amazing. Was, awesome. So guys, my time here with CD from Archbishop Porter. What has been so interesting to you? about this video of course um if you just show up showed up on this channel um it's all about education and bringing innovation into the african education system if you do appreciate everything that is happening here you give us your endorsement you hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification i can appreciate each and everyone who is um coming all out to make this thing work yes and also big shout out to ghana education service and the education minister the education director all the big guys inside education. I can't appreciate you all enough. We are so much grateful and we're looking forward to promoting a lot of STEM and TVET education, fat STEAM and TVET education in this country. Um, we are officially in Central Region, so we're going back to see what is happening there. I'm going to see you again very soon and bye.